Hello there. Today's riff is taken from Blueberry Hill, which was written by Vincent Ross. In this riff we're going to take the idea of an octave. An octave, oct means eight, so an octave is eight notes. So C to C is an octave, D to D is an octave, E flat to E flat is an octave. And that's where we start this riff. So E flat to E flat, first idea. Second part of the idea we'll have second finger on G, E flat, F, G, and fourth finger will be on B flat which is the third of the three back notes. So octave, second finger on G, fourth on B flat. Once you've got the um, idea of where those notes are, you might want to practice them as a chord. Just to get the feel of the notes under your hand. So the first part of the riff goes like this. Once again, a little more slowly this time. So once you've got the idea of that, you will be doing exactly the same thing, but this time starting on a B flat. B flat is the third of the three back notes. So B flat, octave B flat, second on T fourth on F. So practice those four notes. Then practice them as a chord. Then the rhythm. Next we have exactly the same idea again but starting on an F this time. F, octave F, a, C, F, octave, A, C, playing the chord. Might be easier for you to use third finger in the middle of this one, it's up to you. So the rhythm. Finishing off with a B flat idea, which we've already conquered. And that's the entire riff. So it might seem difficult, but if you think of it as an E flat chord, a B flat chord, and an F chord, and then finishing off with the same B flat chord, you'll probably find it easier. So here it is now in, um, in total, just so you can have a listen and uh, think about things like the octave, the E flat chord, the repetition of the idea and so on. Here it is. Hope you enjoyed mastering the riff from Blueberry Hill, which happens many times during the song. So enjoy and happy riffing.